Welcome to Excel Magic Trick 1909. And in the next three videos, we have three amazing different tricks that are all going to work together to solve a problem. Hey, in this video, we're going to see how to create a unique list with the word all at the top. And in 1910, you won't believe it, the dynamic range operator, this dot dot thing has been around for a long time. But there is an incredible use for this reference operator for data validation. And in 1911, we're going to see the amazing by row with an eta and. And inside the group by filter, we're going to use that to accomplish the eternal reporting all criteria dilemma. Now here's a cool thing. I've done a lot of videos where we're dealing with all criteria. And before we had VStack, just creating a list like this one right here, well, it was a little bit involved. All the way back in Excel Magic Trick 1740, I showed you that formula. This one and our teammates, Excel Wizard gave us one, two, three. Wayne Edmond gave us this one, and Bill Sizzis gave us this one. So you can go check that out. Well, guess what? In 1909, this video, we're going to see a much easier way. The goal, I need to get a unique list from this column sorted with the word all at the top. Not only that, but notice, I'm going to need region product and sales, a unique list with all at the top of each unique list. Well, the smart thing was to arrange left to right the field names in the same order as the data set. All right, now the key is we can use relative cell references when we highlight region down to the bottom of the table. And whatever formula we create, we just copy it over and it will automatically move from region to product to sales rep. All right, we're going to start with VStack. Now, the VStack function can take items or arrays and stack them up vertically, converting items and multiple arrays into a single vertical array. Now, what's so amazing about VStack compared to the old formulas is we can simply put the word all in the first argument, array 1, comma, and then in the second array, unique. For the array for unique, I'm going to select region, select the top cell, control shift down arrow to jump down to the last cell, control backspace to jump back to the active cell. Now let's see how this works. Close, close. That is a relative cell reference, so control enter. And when I copy it to the side using my crosshair angry rabbit, click and drag. Just like that, one, two, three unique lists with the word all at the top. Now, really, what I'd like to do is sort just the unique list. Even if we had some word that would sort above all, I do not want that. So watch this. The range is highlighted, and there's the active cell. I hit F2 to put it in edit mode. And then in front of unique, I put sort, open parentheses close at the end. And guess what? Three cells are highlighted, and I've edited one of the cells. I can use the keyboard Control-Enter to populate the edited formula into all three cells. And there you go. Now we have the word all and a unique sorted list for region, product, and sales rep. Now, next video, we'll learn an amazing trick about how to use these lists to create data validation drop downs. And then in the following video, we'll see an amazing formula to create a report where we're allowed to select individual conditions or the word all. All right, we'll see you next Excel magic trick.